Have you ever pressed the closed door button in an elevator only to wait and wait and nothing happens? Surprisingly, in most modern elevators, that button doesn't actually work. Here's why. The idea goes back to 1852 when Elisha Otis, the same genius who invented the safety elevator in the US, revolutionized vertical travel. His goal was to make elevators safe and reliable, but the closed door button we see today was added much later, around the mid 20th century, mostly in America, not for speed, but to give passengers the illusion of control. Fun fact, in some countries like Japan and across Europe, these buttons actually do work in private or service elevators, but in public spaces, they're intentionally disabled due to safety regulations and fire codes. Imagine thinking you're controlling time as you travel between floors, when really, the elevator is secretly following its own programmed schedule. Some engineers even call it the illusion of control, a tiny button with a big psychological trick. So next time you press it, remember, you're not just riding an elevator. You're part of a centuries-old safety tradition and one of the cleverest mind tricks in modern design.